this is Mark. I am the teacher of Transcendental Meditation running the Brighton TM Center. And today we are doing our next episode of Chat with the TM Teacher. And I'm here with my good friend, James Miles, who is speaking to us from Bristol. There he is. And so we're going to we're going to hear about James's TM journey and uh, I'll start by saying, nice to see you, my good friend. James and I have Hi, some, uh, good uh, teaching together in London. James is in Bristol at the moment, but he also teaches in London. So I'll just start our, our chat by asking you how and why you first learned to meditate and when that was. Mm. So give, us, give us the context, if you would be so yes. kind. Yes, yes. I've never told that story before. <laughs> um, yes. So what, how did I learn TM? How did I come across it? I was doing my chemistry master's degree uh, at Bristol Uni about, well, we're coming up to nine years. It was the beginning of February. And I was about five months into that. And I had to do another presentation in a classical lecture theater to all my new peers and professors about my new research. And although I'd been doing that kind of thing for a while, this was on a bigger stage. And I was a little bit more stressed about it. And I was talking to a gentleman at a life drawing class about this problem I had, yeah? And he said he'd learned Transcendental Meditation a few months prior. And he said, oh, I, you know, I feel I've got this clarity. I feel just less stressed. I feel more comfortable in, my, in myself. And to be honest, later, and I remember his name, uh, it just sounded way too good to be true. It, it, it sounded like a self-help technique that I'd never taken any notice of before. I'd never done any type of meditation in the past. And uh, I thought, look, here's me struggling over intense scientific research and inquiry, trying to improve the world and myself. How could something like this be so simple, bring all these benefits? But for some reason, he did get my attention. So I looked online and I found a lot of scientific research on TM, you know, validating its effectiveness in, in improving creativity, intelligence, et cetera. And I'm a curious guy. So I went and met the teacher uh, in Bristol, uh, a lady called Patrice Gladwin. And I liked her. She was very down to earth. She spoke a lot of common sense. She was a bit eccentric. Um, I liked her. So I thought, yeah, let's, let's go for it. And I learned that weekend. I got a really good deal, actually being a student. So any students out there, you should go for it. Um, and very quickly, I got benefits. Um, I used to suffer a lot with anxiety and depression. I had a lot of depression in my 20s. I learned when I was 33 now, then. Um, and I'd, I'd looked for lots of things to try and help me in life. But yeah, I learned TM and very quickly, I just felt a lot more comfortable, a lot more myself and I, got, I did get this extreme clarity of thought. I could really, I loved my chemistry. I loved using my intellect, but now it was ex extremely sharp. I was proclaiming in lectures, I understand now, you know? And I could really challenge people on their theories and my professor and uh, oh, just things really started opening up and I then started to worry I was going down a, too much of a, a scientific a path. And I always had these ambitions for acting and music. So I started to, to join all these societies. I was directing plays and 
and joining the old Vic and doing, um, doing acting classes down there. So things just started to really open up for me. And, and I really, you know, we talk about fulfilling your full potential. And I really thought, oh, you know, now I can. You know, life is now going to be what I've always thought it can be. Yeah. And um, so it sounded like it, I mean, it really did deliver right from the get go. And it did, even on the what, first day. What about, yeah, what about um, the doing of the practice? Because you've talked about its effects in your life, which is, of course, what, you know, that that should be where you find the results. But did you find doing the meditation itself was easy, like to do it those two periods twice a day? Or did you find like you had to be disciplined or was it something you really look forward to? Where, where was it? Ridiculously difficult. No, I'm joking. Um, I, I couldn't believe how how simple it was, you know, and that's something that people can't believe when they learn TM is, is how simple it is. And I just did it. And I remember it just worked that first day. I even went to a coffee shop that afternoon. And the whole environment in, in the coffee shop, I was with a friend, it just all dropped. And I just felt a lot more relaxed. And, and I used to be a bit paralyzed by public spaces. There's this fear. And it just, I, just, I just felt, oh my God, something's going on here. And I just did what the, the TM teacher recommended, what Patrice recommended, and just be regular, just do it, morning and evening, 20 minutes. And I did, it was just very simple. I always looked forward to the, the meetings, the group meditations, because you'd go even deeper. And um, it just worked. So I, yeah, I easily fitted it into my lifestyle. Oh, great. Okay, and so then, how many years was it from then until you trained as a teacher and what brought you to want to train as a TM teacher? Because that's quite a big commitment in terms of time involved, et cetera, et cetera, career change. So what, yeah. what, how, what, yeah. what was your trajectory there? Yes. So it did have a big impact. And even though I was in, in the chemistry world and I was performing very well. I got awarded the Marie Curie scholarship to go and do a PhD in Stockholm and carry on my, my scientific research in, in chemistry. But all I could do was go on to people about TM. I, I was you know, speaking to my, um, my group, my research group. I was doing lectures to them on TM. I would go to Stockholm. I'd be at these dinners. And all I do was talk about TM. And, uh, and they, I remember that I remember I remember the professor over there, he said, why, why do you want to come here and do, and do uh, research with us? And I just said, I look back now, I said, well, to have fun like this. And, and, I, and I, I just remember thinking, I don't, with, I remember thinking not many prospective PhD students would just say they'd want to just come and have fun when they've got their, their professor up. But he loved it, you know, he loved it. And, and they wanted me, but unfortunately I turned them down because I thought, if I want to do any research now, I want to see how meditation affects, I want to marry, marry my two loves, you know, meditation and chemistry. So I, I contacted Kings in London and, and uh, said, look, I want to do research. But so, that, so that's where I kind of, I always, I knew very quickly that I wanted to, to teach TM. So, you know, you have to do, you have to do it for a bit, TM, and and then after some time, I think after about a few years, I I, I became a teacher. And what? Uh, so that was I think you said you you did your teacher training two thousand and sixteen. So you've been back, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, teaching in London and Bristol four or five years. Uh, I'm assuming it's yeah. all going fine and. Uh, what any yeah. any kind of standout standout uh, experiences from 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 your teaching career so far that you can talk about? Yeah, um, standout standout. Um, yeah, so I trained in twenty sixteen, so about four and a half years ago, and then I worked remotely for a bit in Bristol and Swindon and Bath, 
And then I took over Hampstead about two or three years ago, had my own center. And um, well, it's just a joy. I mean, obviously I know, I know the benefits of, of, of Transcendental Meditation. That's why I became a teacher. So to teach people this beautiful, simple technique and to watch people get better and happier in their lives is, is, is all I wanna see. And that's what I get week to week. Um, so that is just a, a, an unending joy for me. But stand out moments, stand out moments. I mean, last week I was on a meeting and there was a, a chap called John and he learned, I think uh, uh, in October and he just can't stop talking about all this creativity that's going through him. He, he made an EP over, over Christmas. He started writing again and he feels like he's in his teens again. You know, he's got this, this relentless creative energy back and it's just beautiful to hear that and see that and and someone's happy again and and they're executing what what they know they have but they, they'd lost it they couldn't connect with it again they'd become you know dull or tired and and that's what we're enlivening again you know? yeah and uh last question i think um Lock, lockdown is on as we're recording this in yeah. January. You're still teaching, so um, how's that working? In are you, so you're teaching in Hampstead and in Bristol, or just Hampstead, yeah. London at the moment? Well, <clears throat> as you know, Mark, we weren't able to teach in the last two lockdowns, but this is going to date this video now. Um, but in this lockdown three, we're able to teach because we're helping with anxiety and mental health issues, which is, is so wonderful that TM does that. And there's lots of research that shows that. Um, but normally the course is all done in person. Um, but fortunately, the TM Worldwide Organization has built an app over the last couple of years, few years, and that came to fruition about six months ago. So fortunately, we still teach one-to-one -one on the first day. You still get your personal instruction in Transcendental Meditation one-to-one. -one. But then on those next three consecutive days where you would have returned to the center and that would have been in a group, which we can't do at the moment, what happens is you, you stay at home. You're doing your TM morning and evening, 20 minutes, just sitting comfortably. And then you're spending, uh, you're spending some time on the new TM app an hour and a half from lectures and questions and answers from a, a gentleman called Dr. Tony Nader. And then you still connect with your teacher in the evening for a personal meeting. We have a group meditation and have a little discussion. So we can still teach, which is the wonderful thing because especially in this, this pandemic where, where people are even more stressed, unfortunately, then it's even more important to, to come back home, reset, and bring that peace and happiness within you. Beautiful. So any London folks who might be watching this, I'll put in the URL for the Hampstead TM Center oh, and then they can yeah. connect with you and take it Thanks, forward. Thanks Mark, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to say? Anything I'd like to say? Um, well, just if you're curious about Transcendental Meditation, then all the teachers across the globe now probably are doing online introductory talks. I do mine on, I look after Bath as well, the Bath area. So I do a Sunday and a Tuesday, Bath on a Sunday evening at seven o'clock and uh, Hampstead on a Tuesday evening. And if you, that's the first step, if you want to find out about it, or if you want to connect with your teacher about Transcendental Meditation, it's just attend one of those introductory talks or just get on the, on the dog and bone and um, give your teacher a ring. Um, and uh, it, I mean, it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. There's no doubt about it. it it's, um, it's, it's given me who, who I always knew I was, but I couldn't somehow get there. And I learned to transcend. And I was like, oh, thank God. Now I can enjoy my life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 
It's like coming home. That's what, when I learned, that was the main thing I got initially. It like felt like coming home. It's like, oh my God, what a relief. Yeah, exactly. I, all, all, all that searching, you know, for even from a very young age, even when I was about three, four, I just felt stressed. I was unhappy. You know, I was always worrying about other people in their tests and stuff. And I was always, was always looking for it. And uh, I found it. Brilliant. Thank you for your time, sir. Love Thank to you, talk Mark. with you. Ciao for now. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>